Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have another unboxing for you today. This is a Mandy Peterson deck. I've had this deck at home for um, at least a month. I did a few of unboxings of the unboxings of her decks that she um, that I bought from her actually. And um, then I got distracted with other stuff. So I'm going to do this one. This is a really interesting deck because it's uh, it's called the Color of Love Divination Deck. So it's like a love deck. But there's one for, like, if you've been on a relationship for a while. And then there's one for new love or possible new love. Uh, and Howie is barking. Why is Howie barking? Hmm. He shouldn't be barking. I just took him out. <clears throat> All right, I have to go see what he was barking at. I don't know, I can't figure it out. Whatever. Anyway, so it's an interesting deck. There's two different, the, actually, it's interesting decks. There's two decks in here. I've taken a quick peek at them. I haven't even taken the bands off of them. Um, so the color of love, use this deck to read a current love situation, decipher the main issues affecting a relationship, as well as the motives, feelings, and commitment level of the two parties involved. <clears throat> Color of new love, use this deck to read future love. Find out the types of people or issues to watch for when and how a new love may come into your life. This is such a good idea. I like that it's um, separated by that. And I know you can use them together if you want to, because I think I, I read the little booklet that came with it, a part of it. Um, <coughs> but why would you? Honestly, I do not know how many cards. It doesn't really matter. And it's, it comes in a nice, very sturdy box. I know a couple of other ones come in tuck boxes, which I'm not a fan of in general. So it's got this little pamphlet. Um, I mean, it's very small. Hold on, is that two pages or one? Why do I feel like that's... Oh, it's not. It felt It's thick, so it felt like two pages. You can mix the two decks together. It says... Um, it's got little tips here and there about different things. There's a pendulum chart that's actually a pendulum chart in the back here. It explains how to use it. Like there's hair color here. I mean, that's that you can, it's almost like a Ouija board type thing. <laughs> if some people are weirded out by that, then don't use a pendulum chart, honestly. I use a pendulum occasionally. So it's, you know, honestly, it's your own energy. Okay, so anyway, there's all, it's just a quick little pamphlet. Okay, so nothing that special. All right, so this one here, I know they're separated by, all right, the color of love must be, hold on a second. All right, I'm just, so there's, I know, look at that, the iridescent, isn't that cool? I know they're separated by the back, and, hmm, I don't know, let's see. Let's see, which is which? <laughs> oh, here we go. No, nope, that's not it. There has to be something that says which deck is which. Am, am I missing it? Um, working with the backs of cards using the symbols. Astrological. Do they all have different backs? I'm guessing no. Okay. There must be a way to figure this out. Hold on a second. All right. Oh, so this one. Okay, so this must be the color of love, the, um, which is the one that if you're in an existing relationship. How cute that is. I love that it's iridescent. Oh, my God. I mean, there's a lot of cards here. A lot of cards. I don't know how many, but there's a lot. Let's see. Pull that off. All right. Let me see. All right. Yeah. So this is the color of love deck because it's all um, just hearts with a butterfly in there. And there's different colors. So there's different. There must be a reason why. But I mean, it explains in the book. I have not read the whole thing. I just glanced through it real quick. I haven't had a need to use it. So that's the one that's the color of love. And it's got different colors also in the back. I know I just saw something there where it explains um, I'll go through the cards and then maybe I'll look at that real quick. So the color of love deck. And like I said, there's a lot of cards here. There's a lot. I mean, I don't know how many cards, but there has to be at least 50 cards and look how beautiful that area. Oh my God. I love it. All right. So 
and you can read them um, up and down like I'm sorry you can read them this way or this way reverse so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna read every single one so risk revealing yourself as you hold back from expressing your feelings to a love interest at least one of you must reveal your heart for love to blossom and on the other side is taking advantage keep your motive keep your motives pure do not use deceive or take advantage of others a relationship based on dishonesty or manipulation isn't based on love okay so it's it's really cool i am actually looking forward to using this so i'm just gonna go up and down you can freeze it if you want to freeze it <laughs> You can pause it if you want to to look at it okay so i'll just risk the, uh, read the the very tops but i'm not going to read the whole thing so that's the first one risk revealing yourself and taking advantage and the back of these are black so there must be like all right so they the front and the back match so that's black and that's black all right cool a journey kept at a distance Retreat, denial, be less available, back off, indecision, unforgettable, stuck, are you waiting for someone or something to change, try not to put your life on hold, in this way it's time to move forward not making an effort there will be no growth or progress in your relationship as long as one or both of you aren't willing to put in an effort i like this it's not all you know everything's wonderful it gives you straight talk <laughs> passionate feelings this one's red a game of conquest let's see what that one says your heart is quickly won over. You're swept off your feet by an ardent admirer. Make sure you take the time to get to know each other. Are you being played or are you it, Are you the player? Either way, you may be loving someone for the wrong reason. Perhaps you must, perhaps you just want to win. Hmm. Moving too quickly. Possession. Let the sparks fly. A love of convenience. Wow. I'm telling you, these get to the point. You are adored. On and off. Be, re be reassuring. No apologies. On the rebound bounce all right i just want to check to see how many are in these colors so one three four five six so there's six per color maybe i can do the math after although i'm really bad with math <laughs> maybe if i do the, tell you guys how many colors there are you guys will be able to um do the math for me fertility unrequited love hmm oh just dropped one all right, I've noticed too that these have symbols on it. I believe that's Libra there. And is that, that's male? I can't, I can't remember if that's male or female. I don't think it matters. Um, yeah, that's female and that's male. So this one has, is, I think that's Aquarius. So there's different, uh, that's Sagittarius. Hmm. Okay, so there's def definitely different, um, astrological symbols on these so that actually works out good and they're on the back as well so you can use the back alone if you really wanted to so hmm okay be flirtatious reject advances rejected advances a deepening bond the juggler mixed messages loved and left oh left and left that's sad are your ears burning lack of support 
children parental relationships okay let's see what this one says you or a lover may have children from another relationship it may be important to consider their needs and how they are affected always a good idea when you have kids you or your love interest plays too much of a parental or childlike role drop the role play and learn to meet your partner as an equal hmm. good advice a gift don't rush and i believe that's G not gemini um i'm pretty sure that's pisces gemini and pisces always look the same to me pushed away and it also has these other symbols here. This is a spiral. I'm not sure what that um, signifies. Hurt, hurt inflicted. I know the spiral is a symbol of the goddess um, and eternity, but there's other symbols like good. Okay, so there's a four leaf clover. So there's different symbols there. Snowflake. Okay, so that could mean like that could mean winter. Uh, this to me could be like a sign of spring. Uh, four leaf clover that would also be more of a sign of spring or summer um, lightning summer although occasionally in the some in it right here this holly on this one holly a little i don't know if you can see it there a little holly thing that would be um yule or winter oh yeah this is pretty cool deck pretty pretty cool okay be attentive codependency so you guys are seeing this deck the first time, like I'm seeing it the first time. So I know that sometimes I probably miss things, but that's because I'm just seeing it for the first time. I got to put my eye glasses on now. <clears throat> my eyes start to get tired. Um, so that's why I bring it up close and you guys can like see it yourself. Of course, I'm, I'm so hot right now that my glasses are fogging up. Oh my God. Okay. Unwavering. Lack of clarity. And it definitely has the male and female or masculine and feminine. And I think that's a good um, symbol to have there as well. Because regardless of whether it's male or female, some people, everybody has masculine, feminine energy. It just depends. Cheating heart. Deception. So this one goes both ways. Cheating heart and deception. Someone may be tempted to cheat on a partner with or without, with any I'm sorry, without any intention of leaving. Are you the cheater, the temptation, or the partner? Deception. A love interest may be trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Be very wary. I'm sorry, be wary of being misled by his or her words of actions. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. So you can definitely use this as a um, reverse thing and, and you know honestly sometimes you can use both together because some of them probably go well together harmony drained well this is taurus so taurus is green healing waiting for change be patient wasted time Wow. Thinking of you. Settling. Lucky you. Taking advantage of. <clears throat> yes. A nice fantasy. Okay, so that was Taurus. This one's Aquarius. So it's probably six cards for at each zodiac sign, which is 12. I don't know what 12 times 12 is. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody do the math. Um, I'm, let's see, 10 times 12 is 120, 124. It's probably, probably 124. There can't be 124 cards here. There's no way. There's no way. Uh -uh. I don't think so. I may have to count them. Um, a he message delivered. Don't wait by the phone. Apologetic. Disappearing act. Express yourself. Interference. 
talk of moving in. Silent treatment. People pleaser. Bruised ego. Listen to others. Refusing to listen. Friends with benefits. <laughs> Feeling awkward. And this is Sagittarius. So I'm kind of, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Um, okay, that's Capricorn, I believe. That's Gemini. I, no. This is Pisces. Okay, Pisces and Gemini always get them screwed up. That, I believe, is... Uh, no, that's not... Is that Virgo? It's either Virgo or... Um, uh, to, to do it, what do you call it? Scorpio. This right here is Cancer. It looks like you've got. Oh, I'm gonna have to count these. <laughs> I will. You know what? Once I'm done showing you the deck, I'll pause it, count it, and then let you know how many in this deck. <laughs> okay. Expect the best. A selfish lover. Avoiding emotions, they give up. Psychic connection, obsess much. Paranoia, don't be too trusting. Getting answers, no. And we have... Pretty sure that's Capricorn. Ready to try again? <clears throat> Afraid to trust. Worth the wait? Just plain lazy. Freedom? Toxic love. See the bigger picture? Addictive tendencies. Risky business? A love triangle, abstinence, sexual issues, tried and tested, appears disinterested, a fresh start, a oh, big truck coming by, wounded heart. I don't know. They must be doing some construction around here because keep getting these big trucks coming through. Hesitation. Missing a spark. The game player. Half-hearted. The one. Wonderful. Only you. Fairy tale romance. New beginnings. Time to move forward. <clears throat> Block, blocked from love. Lessons in karma. Let's read this one. Hanging on to a situation that leaves you feeling unloved blocks you from creating new and better opportunities for yourself. Lessons in karma. You may be clinging to a relationship believing it's karmic. Or there's a lesson to learn. The karma has completed itself. A new let the new lesson is to let go. <coughs> Excuse me. That's cool. Trying too hard. Clear contracts. Over striving. Overwhelmed. No repair needed. Don't make things worse. Put on a pedestal, fallen angel, hot and cold, illusion broken. Okay, so we went from white, that's white, and this one is silver. Okay, a misunderstanding, oh, sorry, <laughs> fooling around, fear of intimacy, Blast from the past. Afraid to reach out. 
distracted, not coping, emotional instability, private detective, no renewal, choice, all used up. Make an impression, material loss. So how many of these, there's four, okay, there's, yeah, there's six of each color. Can't wait to count them. A special occasion, too much nitpicking. Envision the new, too much work. And we all know people that are just too much work, honestly. True love. Painful lessons. Get to know someone. Dollar signs. Ooh, that's, let's see. Get to know someone. Take time to get to know someone before wandering, wondering if he or she is the one. Be willing to take things slow. <clears throat> dollar signs. Financial troubles or work-related stresses impact, impact a, a lover's availability. Maintain a relationship. Maintaining a relationship may not be his or her priority okay i'm gonna pause this and i'm gonna count them and i'll get back all right i just counted it it's 72 cards which makes sense i was doing 12s i don't know why i was doing 12s it's six cards so six times 12 i'm pretty sure is 72 so there's a there are six cards per each um sign and what is that i know what that is and i can't remember um, so it's 72 cards. Wow. And this, this, just this one deck, I will link her website below. I mean, this is pretty cool. It comes, it's two decks. It's nice. The nice quality cards too. And I mean, of course they, they have the iridescence, you, you know, you sold me on that. And they're a good, like they're a nice size. They're small. They're like a regular deck of playing cards. All right. So this is the new love colors of new love. Let's see, the back of these, I think, is all the same. Yeah, so this one's not like that one. That one has different colors. This one's all the same. Sorry, <laughs> I'm probably not showing you right. It's just kind of pretty. I, I like the, the heart like that with the angel wings. I like that. Okay. So I have these upside down. Okay, and this piece has different symbols. So there's different colors as well. There's different symbols in the hearts. So it's similar to that other one, but not really. Um, okay, so put that to the side there. Transform yourself. Retreat for now. So this one has like one thing. Um, and I'm guessing, hold on a second, let's see. This is Blast from the Past, once again, off again. So it's giving you kind of like, to me, that's like, um, the keywords is just that, and then it's giving you this little little thing here. Now, I don't think it needed to be upside down. It would have been fine if it was the other way, but, you know, that's just me. Okay, transform yourself. A caterpillar will enter a cocoon for a time to develop wings and fly ability to fly. You too must retreat for a while to emerge transformed and ready for love. So it's retreat for now. So it it works with with this it's not like a, an if or um like this one's got two different messages this is all part of the same message so this one would have made more sense if this was upside down like that's upside i'm sorry right side up instead of having to flip it around you know that would make more sense to me okay so blast from the past and then on again off again okay uh, into the void. And the bottom word is unknown. Uh, yeah, it would have made more sense to, to put that, um, facing up for me. I still like the cards and this one's iridescent too, you guys. I mean, how, how can you not love that? The great escape. If you allow it, let's see, try to work on overcoming your fear of rejection or tendency to sabotage to run from relationships when you feel insecure, restless, or afraid of getting hurt. So you have to allow sometimes people to get close. 
and sometimes not depends on the person the shadow self without delay you may meet someone who trigger you to express your shadow side while it may not be a comfortable experience there's much you can learn about yourself hmm. obsession don't obsess over it swept off your feet very soon hmm. red flags don't be pushy. Game of conquest. You are too impatient. <laughs> Batteries required. Time to act. Face your fears. Blocked by fear. Now it looks like every single, um, looks like this one has like suits. So every single symbol has um, a specific set of cards, like from one to six. So that's different. So it's almost like a, a tarot deck. D different suits have to, you know, all like you have an ace of wands, an ace of cups, and you know, you guys know. So on rebound, on the rebound, don't fear to be alone. Better off being alone for a while than getting into a bad relationship. Sexual chemistry, a few love interests, children of divorce, the kids come first. Kids should come first. You know, when they're older, you have time for yourself. But when they're young, it's up, it's there, they are the most important thing. <clears throat> a love may enter your life who's divor who is divorced and has one or more children. You may be granted the opportunity to be a step parent to a child that's not your own. That's a big responsibility. Artistic type. A series of flirtations. That's different. You may attract a lover who's sensitive, emotional, or a dreamer. While this person may not always be realistic or consistent, he or she is capable of deep feelings in a series of flirtations. I don't know how that one ties them together, but okay. Married with children. When you fully let go. So they have a little bit of different um, things some of, on some of them. Pregnancy. Nine months to a year. So that, that works. I like that. Southern discomfort. One night stands. Free spirit, let go of neediness. I do like these um, symbols here. They're kind of cool. And they have, I mean, that's Aquarius right there, I think. Um, they don't all have astrological symbols. Too bad. I wish they had astrological symbols on this one as well. This one would make more sense to me to have astrological symbols because this, well, they both would. Because especially feel it for it's for a new love thing, but hey, whatever. Going the distance, use the internet, fear of commitment, coming in briefly, feeling free, get social, need for freedom, <clears throat> no time to breathe, feeling limited, <clears throat> excuse me, shine your uh, love light. Lucky in love. There is no obstacle. Hands-on healing. It's in your hands. Keeping a scorecard. One fell swoop. Big splendor. No, I'm sorry. Big spender. <laughs> Upgrade your wardrobe. See a healer. Heal your past. I like this one. You'll benefit from working with a healer who can ease your who can help you release blocks to finding lasting love. True love may come to you, but you'll need to heal yourself first. Counseling. In that I see counseling. I think that's a great idea. Transitional. Be understanding. Smooth sailing. Be more easygoing. Treading water, 
agonizing details. Don't drown. Forever in a lifetime. Visualize blue skies. Law of attraction. I really like this deck. I like both these decks. And you can use either or. I, I really don't see too much of a difference. Drinking buddies. Deal with addictions. Because, you I mean, you can have a lot of this stuff even if you're with a person for a long time. So, online predators. Ooh, don't like those people. Don't be too trusting. It's Kismet. Worth waiting for. I think Kismet means destiny, right? A love may enter your life which karma is present. And it's predestined that you'll meet. The relationship may have its challenges, but you'll... But you've chosen to learn from it. Yeah, it's a karmic thing. Okay. Psychic connection. Undetermined. Oversensitive. <clears throat> Three to six months. Interference. Let go of outcomes. Use your intuition. Be careful. Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Hmm, that's funny. Go against the norm. I gotta know. I gotta read what that means. Someone with an indigo spirit may enter your life. He or she may resist authority, is fascinated with conspiracy theories or experiments with alternative ways of living. Oh, maybe I'm an indiegogo. I love conspiracy stuff. <laughs> you will who will you choose? A choice between two. An intellectual affair, six to nine months, treated like royalty, ask and you shall receive. Nobody's servant, in the far future, overthinking things, don't stress about it. Cursed, clear your energy. You may feel cursed in love. However, you simply need to love yourself more. Having the ability to love yourself will make it easier to attract the right person, your partner. Honestly, you really should love yourself first. <clears throat> it makes it really hard when you don't. Matchmaker. One to two years. Blind date. You'll be surprised. Or you will be surprised. <clears throat> An office affair. During office hours, reunited at last, past becomes present, friends first, someone you know, on, off, on, reappearing act, earth angel, divine timing, pray, be selective. Lessons in expression. Make the first move. Sacred bond. Wait for someone special. I wish in a way that if you were going to do it upside down like this, you have, I wish they had, had the same thing like we have with these other cards. Because that kind of leaves it like open, open ended. I mean, this was pretty simple, but some of them are a little, a little different, a little more, um, interpretive i guess true self <clears throat> stop hiding devil in disguise don't be charmed mirror mirror group setting rest and relaxation take a vacation stargazing Three to four years. Wow. That's pretty a uh, pretty long time. Starlight. Be seen and heard. Parental relationships. A family affair. Star cross lovers. Timing is important. Gold digger. Don't be greedy. A no, un, no, unworkable. Socialize with co-workers. 
parental approval, introduced by family, rebel with a cause, four to five years, solid gold. You may attract someone into your life who's the total package. Apart from being attractive, he or she may possess a good personality and a substantial bank account. Wow. It's not a race. So take your time. Pick the right one. Financial hardship. Take someone to lunch. Okay. So let's see how many this deck. I'm going to guess it's probably exactly 72 as well. We'll see. All right, I did just count it. It is also 72. So, so that's what 144 cards uh, in this in these two decks. You can use them together if you want to. They're the exact same size. Um, I would probably use them separate. You know, I I might use them in the same reading, but I don't think I'd use them in this. It would be too hard, honestly. I think because I mean that's pretty thick. Anyway, so this is the color of love. Definition kit by Mandy Peterson. I will link it below and um, like go on her website. She's really nice and I really love her stuff. I have another deck. It's an EFT deck, which I really don't know much about. But I'm like, what the heck? Deck looks cool. So, all right, you guys. Thank you. I'm sorry it went so long, but you know, two decks. What can you do? Blessings and thank you. Have a great day.